Hi, uh, it's time for another math easy solution. Today we're going to discuss further into the inscribed angle theorem and now look at some corollary uh, properties. Basically this just means um, something that follows up from something else and in this case we're going to look at some properties that follow from the proof that I covered for the inscribed angle theorem in my earlier videos. Basically to recap from my earlier videos the inscribed angle theorem or central angle theorem basically states the inscribed angle subtended on the major arc of two given points on the circle is half of that of the central angle which subtends on the same arc. So basically what this means is if we were to draw let's say so two given points right here if we subtend on the major arc so if we put any two points the arc that is the larger this is considered the major arc right here and the minor one is the one is the shorter one so that's the minor so basically if we subtend uh, make an angle inscribe an angle subtended by these two points this just means well it's just connecting from these two so here we form an angle theta and now this theorem states that this angle theta is half of this central angle which subtends on the same arc which means if we have let's say the center of the circles here then if we subtend from the same arc like this this is gonna be well 2 theta because this is half of the central angle and also for my last video I covered uh, the case where the angle subtended on the minor arc and showed that basically it is, is supplementary to half the central angle so what this supplementary means uh, like this case right here is basically supplementary angles two angles that are supplementary if they add up to 180 degrees so for example uh, if you have let's say this is theta and this is let's go call it theta then the addition of these theta plus theta equals to 180 so theta is equal to 180 minus theta so that's this part right here this equals 180 minus theta so the same case right here so basically if we subtend that angle on the minor arc so draw this over here and across now this angle is going to be the supplementary to half of this angle so this is 2 theta half of it is just theta so this just equals to 180 minus theta which is theta is half of this and it's supplementary to half so that's uh, what I covered in my earlier videos so now the corollary that we get from these uh, yeah, from the from these theorems here is basically that the first corollary is the angle subtended on the major arc is constant yeah now what this means right here this angle subtended so if we have let's draw it uh, over here so let's say on the major arc we draw it across like this and this is uh, theta so basically what this is saying is it doesn't matter where you draw this let's say if I draw this here or if I draw this here this is also gonna be constant so basically wherever you draw even if you go across like this this is gonna be constant so I'll just circle this constant and now if we go to corollary 2 the angle subtended on the minor arc is constant and supplementary to that of the major arc. So if we go back to here, if you see the uh, subtended here is 180 minus theta, where this is the theta. So we know that, but it's also going to be constant. So if I draw it here, and then if I draw this here, this is going to be, well, 180 minus theta. And now if I draw, let's say, if I instead of going to this point, I go over here. So if I go across like this, it does not matter. This angle here as well is going to be 180 minus theta. So this is constant as well. So this is a very, um, yeah, very interesting and very yeah, useful property to know because this can simplify triangles and, and, and different shapes that if you are inscribed in a circle. So you could, you, you could simplify a lot of stuff in many applications. And now the proof for these, well, these corollaries all follow from the simple fact that the central angle is constant. 
and thus regardless of where the inscribed angles are subtended, they are constant because of their relation relative to the constant central angle. So what this means is if we look over here, because this central angle is not moving, and I already proved that this central angle is going to be uh, double this angle, but this is always constant. So for example, if I draw the central angle here, this central angle is equal to 2 theta. So this is constant because we're not changing it in any way. These points are always going to be stationary. So since they're always stationary, this is always constant. If this is constant, which is 2 theta, which is related to this theta. So wherever you go, this is a function of the central angle, which is constant. So if it's a function of a constant, this is just going to be constant. And likewise with this, because this is just going to be 180 minus theta, which is again a function of the central angle. So basically, they follow simply from the fact that the central angle is constant. And everything is going to be constant. Anyways, that's all for today. Hopefully you learned from this quick uh, video on the, just to follow up on this inscribed angle theorem. It's a really powerful theorem to uh, know and memorize, uh, especially for many different uh, applications. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hopefully you learned. And like always, you can download these exact notes in the link below. And stay tuned for another math easy solution.